Okay, so I want to talk about the three parts of you that usually aren't addressed. Um, when we come to the physical world, most of us believe that we are just this body, which is not the truth, but it's what we're programmed to believe by the people around us that love us and also by society in general, TV, movies, school, everything teaches us to believe we're just a physical body. But there's actually three parts to us. And the three parts are one, your physical body. The second part is your energy body, which extends out past your physical body. And you can actually move. If you've ever seen Korean photography, you can see um, the energy body that's outside of all of us. And actually, there's exercises you can do where you can stare at parts of your body or another person against a white background, and you can actually train yourself to start seeing the colors of your energy body. Um, so that's the second part. And the third part is your mind, which most of us think that, you know, we are our body, right? And that's not true at all. Our mind exists as source, and we're just having this physical experience. So our thoughts are the third part. So when we are unlearning all the programming and conditioning that got us to this part in our lives, because we want to move forward with the rest of our lives feeling joy instead of um, all these negative thoughts and emotions that we've brought forward so far, um, and that, that all starts with unlearning, right? Uh, anything else doesn't take care of the root of the problem. So this video is all about really quickly just giving you a few ways you can unlearn in each of those three areas. Now, I want to be really clear. You can transform your life by just focusing on one area. But if you want to totally transform and transcend, you really want to go to all three areas. So when we're going to start with the physical body. When I first started channeling Source in 2011, I had been uh, vegan for many years, and my husband, Phil, had been vegan too. And we didn't connect that dot. And actually, I had done a, a lengthy fast right before hearing uh, I am hearing source. And the crazy funny thing is like, we didn't connect that. I didn't connect that until a few weeks ago. And if you look at so many of the people that have um, channeled source or um, become incredibly enlightened, they talk about fasting or about eating clean food. So I want to be really clear here. I'm not advocating fasting, um, certainly not without uh, your doctor's approval. I'm an RN. I have a license, and that is my duty to share that with you. And when I did this fast back then, I had done quite a few, and I, I was I was not an RN at the time, and probably if I had been, I wouldn't have um, done it. Anywho, I did it. Uh, my recommendation would be if you want to work on your physical body to start eating as many clean foods as you can, um, certainly as much organic as you can, um, and uh, you know, stay away from processed foods as much as possible. Now, that's the unlearning part, right? Is changing, which uh, Phil and I are going back and, and we're doing it now, but it doesn't have to be this hard, difficult thing because while you're unlearning, you should also be reprogramming. And um, so that's, that's in the masterclass. So this video is really just to, um, just to give you what I didn't include in the masterclass about what you can do to unlearn. So if you haven't seen the masterclass yet, um, Definitely, if you're watching this on Instagram, head to the the link in my profile. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, AaronWorley.com, and the link at the bottom of the page will take you to the master class. And um, yeah, so anyway, um, so that is your physical body to unlearn the years of all the things we've put in our physical body, the best way we can do that is start putting in more natural things because that is what our body is designed to run on. And when we are putting things that aren't clean 
sources of energy into our body, we're clogging up the works. And anything that clogs up the works is going to interrupt or make the communication between you and source more difficult. Because let me be very clear, you are source. We're all source. Okay, you don't have to do anything to be source. But sometimes to hear that connection clearly, you do have to start doing some of this unlearning because all this stuff you've learned, all this stuff you've accumulated, whether you're aware of it or not, in these three parts of you are often the reason that you can't communicate as clearly as you'd like to and hear your intuition as clearly as you'd like to. And a lot of people don't talk about this, um, this physical body aspect of cleaning up your diet because it's so true that you are what you eat, right? Nobody's going to disagree with that. But most people that teach this stuff, teach connecting with oneness or with source, aren't going to tell you that it's essential to clean up your body. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't want to tell that either because I'm like, oh, I don't want to upset people, right? I, people aren't going to want to hear that. But hey, you guys keep asking how, how to do this. This is how you do it. And um, I can tell you, since I started this about three weeks ago, my connection with I am has really, really deepened again. It's, it's much more like it used to be. And things are getting easier for me because of it. So um, that is, that's definitely a huge thing. So because I am putting this truth out there, I'm going to try to start posting some, some resources about uh, clean eating and things like that. Um, oh, and I wasn't just just saying that about not recommending fasting. I really don't recommend fasting because I think that there are a lot of dangers if you already have pre-existing uh, medical conditions and you really don't know what you're getting into. And uh, so, so really, I, I'm 100%. I wasn't just saying that. I really mean that. Anyway, I, I was... I was a crazy 28 year old at the time and had no idea what I was doing and I probably almost died. So I don't recommend that because you're, you're overtaxing your liver. Your liver is what's going to be processing all the toxins. As you fast, you're going to start releasing all these, um, these toxins that have been stored in your cells your entire life. And your liver has to do the processing of those toxins and it, you know, I was only 28 at the time. It, it almost, I, I mean, it was bad. You could do some really, really bad things to your body. So you should not be doing that. So on to the next part. The next part is your energy body. And most people don't realize that, you know, we're emanating energy all the time. We all are. Everything is energy. Everything has energy. This um, rubber band has energy and it's surrounded by an energy field. So because we're all one and this life experience is just a projection, anyone's energy can interact with your energy and affect it. Now, that's especially true when you're not aware of it, right? And you probably are carrying around energy that in your own energy body that's been there for years and years and years, maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 years. And I'm not joking. So if you're not aware of this energy body, you're just you are carrying it in you and it's affecting you every day. So it's incredibly important to start a practice of cleansing your energy body and protecting it. Because when you walk into a store, you're picking up other people's energy. You know, people are often worried when they're shopping and, um, you know, they, they, uh, they're worried, uh, this is too expensive. Can I afford this? It's really low energy. There's so many situations. You know, if you have been to a professional sports game, a baseball game, football game, whatever, and the home team loses, so all the fans in the stadium were pulling for the home team and they lose, when everybody's walking out, the energy is horrendous, right? Whereas if the home team wins, it's like party time, you know, and it, that energy is infectious. So we all let other people's energy affect us and come in and mix with our energy if we're not aware of it. But the even, even worse thing is people can actually send negative thoughts to us. 
just like they can send positive thoughts of, of love and good wishes, people can send negative thoughts to us too. Now, this is usually not on purpose, right? But as humans, you know, there are a lot of emotions, especially right now. There's so many emotions in the world. Tensions are high. It's actually a time of great cleansing, but before the light has to come the darkness, and that's what we're going through right now. So it would be naive to say that there aren't people that think negative things about other people. And I would be lying if I said at times in my life I hadn't done the same thing, you know? Certainly when I was a kid at school and I was being bullied, I did not think nice thoughts about those bullies. And even as an adult, I, you know, jealousy is a huge thing. Jealousy and then guilt from being jealous. That's we all experience that until we become more aware, more self-aware of what's actually going on. So um, this is all about getting you past that past these lower vibrational feelings of jealousy, guilt, fear, pain, rage, anger, all those things, and, and getting you higher up the enlightenment mountain where you're, you're more present and you're being more your authentic source self. So that's what unlearning does for you. It takes you, it takes you higher. So, um, so a great exercise that you can do to, oh, I wanted to say also, this is what you get when you're intuitive. It just, it just comes and you do your best. So anyway, <laughs> um, even beyond that, there's a layer beyond that where people will purposely, not just out of jealousy and not being aware of it. There are people out there that will purposely send daggers of hate and rage to you. There are, I'm sure you guys have heard of voodoo dolls, right? That's actually a thing. Now, most people don't do that, but it does exist. The best thing that you can do to protect yourself every day from anything is to ground yourself, cleanse yourself, and protect. Ground, cleanse, and protect. So you ground yourself by, and you should do this once in the morning and once at night, and it'll get easier as you do it. It doesn't have to take more than a minute or two. Okay, so you ground yourself by imagining something rooting you to the center of the earth. Okay, now that could be tree branches wrapping around your legs and shooting down into the center of the earth. It could be a rope tying around your legs, shooting you down to the center of the earth. Whatever it is that you're going to use as your anchor to keep you physical while you do this. So that's the first step. Second step is um cleansing yourself so you imagine one of the four elements right you've got water earth fire and wind pick one whichever one feels intuitively right to you and let it wash over and through the inside of your body and cleanse you of any negative energies and while you're visualizing it or just saying the words that water washes through me flows through me and cleanses myself cleanses my body of negative energy and then the third step is to protect so you want to imagine a bubble around your entire body and the bubble acts as a filter okay so anything that is for your highest good is allowed into your bubble anything that's not for your highest good is not allowed into your bubble and any negative energy or thoughts that come to you bounce off your bubble and are sent back to the sender. Okay. And you can send them back with love if you'd like. So that's super, super, super important to do two times a day to protect and cleanse your energy body. Okay. Now the last aspect is your thoughts. Now this is sort of the biggest piece of the puzzle. Because you have, oh, however old you are, that many years of programming your thoughts. Now, these are going to show up in different ways depending on your life experiences. It might be, um, I don't have enough time. It's, it's too hard for me to get started. I don't have enough money. Nothing ever works out for me. 
it's in my DNA. I just can't lose weight. Um, I'm just a glass half empty kind of girl. Um, it's not for me. That's for other people. You know, whatever, whatever your limiting beliefs are, these are also called blocks because they block you from going to the next stage in your life. We all grew up with these. And I'll tell you a great purveyor of these is um, Disney movies, which it's hard for me because as a child, I love Disney movies, but now like I don't watch, let my water daughter watch them. I don't let her watch uh, Beauty and the Beast because it's conditioning her that um, it's okay for a man to treat you really, really, really badly. And it's your job to fix him so that he loves you. That's what that movie does. Let's, let's be real. And The Little Mermaid. Oh, this was my favorite growing up. But what it does is says, you're not enough the way you are. You have to change to be loved by a man. Right? She was a mermaid. And she fell in love with with Prince Eric and in order to have him and have a happy life, she had to change who she fundamentally was at her core and become a human. And if you look at all of these fairy tales, they all teach children that they aren't enough. And let me tell you something, whoever you are, whatever you've done, whatever you feel guilt for, you are enough because you are source and everything that you think you are that's holding you back from living the life that you want to live, you are able to right here, right now, stop it. This is what you do. You get a, uh, a piece of paper, a notebook, whatever, and a pen, and you start writing down the experiences in your past that are holding you back. So for me, I wrote down, you know, a, a lot of the things that were holding me back. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, you've got three areas, basic areas of your life. Love. Now that's love for yourself and love for others. Um, the second area is health, which is, you know, it's your your body. It's taking care of yourself. And the the third area is money, finances, career. So you've got those three areas and within them, you have a plethora of limiting beliefs and blocks that have been programmed into you uh, by uh, people who loved you and by, by um, society. So anyway, um, you start writing them down. For me, I, I started with my money blocks. And I started writing down all the ideas I had picked up as a child that it's it's not okay to ask for money, right? That's a big one, right? Um, a lot of people feel guilt because um, why should they have something when when other people there's people that are starving in the world, right? So how is it right for them to ask for anything? Let me tell you, there's unlimited everything in this world. We just have to create it with our minds. And there's certainly enough money for everybody. Um, you just have to create it, okay? Uh, it's your programming that's keeping you stuck. And that can be changed. And it should be changed because you do not you're not here to be stuck. You're here to create something big to contribute to the expansion of the universe. The time is now because there are humongous shifts happening. I'm sure you've seen them that have never happened, certainly in our lifetimes or many, many centuries before us. There are things that are being cleaned up here that most people don't see. It's very exciting. It's an amazing time. And we need people that have good hearts and that want to do good to go out and start creating both for their own good and for the good of everyone. But I'll tell you something, if you haven't addressed these limiting beliefs and blocks, if you haven't unlearned this programming that has been with you since childhood, you aren't ready to help the world yet. 
You must help yourself first. Now, this does not have to be something that takes forever. When you're writing down these limiting beliefs, like I'll give you another one. Uh, my dad always told me, be a clean plate clubber, which meant eat all the food on your plate, right? There was something wrong with me if I didn't. So, of course, I, as an adult, I'm still like I'm licking the plate when it's done, literally. <laughs> like, often I did that, right? And I had to go back and examine why am I doing that? That's why. Now, that's not true. There's actually, as an adult, I know it's inherently better to stop eating when you're full instead of eating because you're worried there won't be food at the next meal. That wasn't actually an issue when I was a kid. There was always enough food. So why did I have to act as if next time there wouldn't be enough food? Well, it's, of course, because... My, my dad was programmed by his parents who grew up during the Great Depression when it's very possible there might not be food at the next meal. So it made sense to clean your plate. Okay, that's the kind of programming that we're walking around with and we don't realize it. So all of this unlearning is not just about writing down the thoughts and saying, I forgive you. What it is, is getting awareness. That's the key word here. Awareness of the stories that have been running through your head that you aren't aware of. Because when those stories are running on, in your subconscious on autopilot, they're creating your life. And the little bit of time that you are spending conscious and aware during the day is not enough time to uh, combat those stories you've been telling yourself. Anyway, so that's it. Um, the three things you can do for your physical body to unlearn. Your physical body is clean your diet up. Start eating more fruits, vegetables, much less processed foods. Um, I would honestly recommend moving towards a vegan diet. Now, if you want more details how to do this painlessly and effortlessly, certainly check out the masterclass where I talk about how if you do some initial programming, you don't have to start until your subconscious kicks in and makes it really easy and fun for you. So anyway, that's the one thing, your, your physical body, clean up your diet. Second thing is your energy body, ground, cleanse, and protect daily. And the, the third thing is your mind body. Figure out what these old stories are that are running your life. Do the, do the work, go in, identify them so that when you hear them, you can say, no, this is my new story. Okay, so thank you guys so much for your time. Um, I thought this was going to take five minutes, and it took 23 minutes, but <laughs> I do the best I can. Anyway, um, definitely book a call with me if you would like my help in helping you absolutely transform your life. That is my calling. It is what I'm here to do, and I am really, really, really excited to work with you guys one-on-one -on -one and get you past these blocks that have been holding you back and get you into basically who you were born to be because you really are amazing and you are more powerful than you have ever imagined. <laughs>